Over the last several years, there's been a decline in the overall interest in CDs, and as a result, they started disappearing from most big box stores. Mom and pop record shops started focusing, you know, more on stocking vinyl since it's what's, you know, people seem to be buying up in droves. However, people are beginning to realize, and I'm so happy about this, that the industry has price gouged vinyl to the point where many are just put off by the staggering amount being charged for the antiquated format. This new culture of music consumption left the CD out, out in the rain. Best Buy used to have a very nice catalog of the latest CDs they pulled out a few years ago, and the same could happen to their you know, movie selections as streaming becomes more and more the new normal. However, the record shops know there is a substantial profit margin when selling new CDs. They buy them for pennies on the dollar and resell them for anywhere from what you know, four to six bucks a piece, making them a sweet profit. Many smaller outfits buy collections from estate sales and resell them for a considerable profit. Realistically, this might be the only reason they still carry the format. I am a CD fanatic, and I will fight until my last breath to keep the CD alive and relevant. Not only for the artists, but for the fans who still want to own a piece of media that they can collect, enjoy, and inevitably pass on. So to start things off, my first suggestion for buying CDs is the independent record shop. I recently visited my favorite store in Denver. Check it out. What's up guys? We're here at my local record store called Twist and Shout. As you can see, Twist and Shout is the probably the biggest record store in Denver, I would say, the coolest one for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you in and show you what kind of CD selection they got. Okay guys, as you can see, they got more than just CDs. They got a bunch of memorabilia, collectibles, they have records, they have hi-fi gear, they have a little bit of everything. Come check out the CD selection. As you can see, they have uh, some new, some new uh, releases right here and they have tons and tons of used content. It actually goes all the way down to the very, very end of the store. This is probably one of the coolest and biggest selections of CDs I've seen in a record store, not only in Denver, but pretty much all over the country. So I think that's really, really rad. Come check it out. What I think is really cool, they got a ton of Funko Pops, which uh, are definitely a guilty pleasure of mine. So I really, really enjoy that about this place as well. As you can see, the CDs go on and on and on. In that separate room over there, they have uh, records that you can try, uh, try out records, you can listen to them. They have uh, you know, used speakers, used hi-fi gear. Uh, this is my favorite place to shop, honestly, in Denver, when I am in Denver. Just because of the selection, the pricing, uh, they've kept it pretty reasonable. Um, so this is definitely a huge, huge opportunity for someone who has a record store in their hometown. I know a lot of towns don't have record stores, but I'm really, really excited the fact that Denver does have a really, really thriving uh, music scene as well as CDs everywhere. So uh, yeah, so this is the record store that of my choice and a killer option to find really nice used CDs. So where else can I find CDs? The local thrift stores have always been perfect for sourcing some hidden gems. I see so many people bring home impressive hauls on the Compact Disc Collectors Club Facebook group that I, I'm a part of uh, from thrift shops and, and stuff like that. And it makes me genuinely jealous because I, <laughs> I want them. I try my best to make my rounds every couple weeks to see what they have in stock. I like to go to Goodwill and ARC since they're close by and the leading shops in my area. Uh, here I am at Goodwill in Denver, right off the Broadway Strip. Check it out. What's up guys, here is another stop in my journey to find CDs, which is the local Goodwill. So any local thrift store will have, should have, a good selection of CDs, used CDs, for a really, really reasonable rate. So most of the time between two, three, four dollars max. 
So this is just another stop and another opportunity for you guys to find CDs at a reasonable price uh, and a good selection. Usually I have good selections here. Uh, sometimes you gotta fight over, over the CDs because there's other people looking at stuff, but for the most part, uh, it's a solid, solid uh, situation. So another place I'd recommend, like I said, Goodwill, uh, any thrift store, uh, estate sales, garage sales, kind of all fall under the same umbrella and category. Um, so definitely uh, give it a look-see if you got a local thrift store in your town. I love thrift stores in general, so that was a fun one. I picked up, actually, I picked up Nora Jones in almost near mint to mint condition from that store that day that I filmed. So moving on to the next spot. So remember when I said most big box, most big box stores pulled CDs from their inventory? Well, there is one that has an excellent selection at certain stores, not every store, Barnes & Noble. I recently went by and purchased a few fresh new CDs from them. They have a healthy catalog of all sorts of titles. Most are reasonably priced. They also have some hard to find titles, which I thought was cool to find at my local Barnes & Noble. Check me out shopping away. What's up guys? I am at the last stop on my journey to find more CDs. Now, if you have a Barnes & Noble in your area, chances are they could have a very nice selection of CDs. As you can see, there's a huge row of CDs. These are all brand new though, no used CDs. So these are priced, I'd say pretty reasonably, but you're still gonna find between 10 to 15 to $16 per CD but they have a great selection of stuff that you might not be able to find otherwise. So definitely worth checking out Barnes & Noble, uh, as well as Walmart and Target. Uh, those are the three big box stores that I know still carry CDs. So check that out. Okay, so as far as brick and mortar stores, that's what I have for you. I don't want to waste your time with Target and Walmart. Yes, they, they have K-pop and the, some, some new stuff, but the catalog is very slim and not really worth it. The only other one worth mentioning would be FYE. There's still a few stores inside of like shopping malls around the country, I guess. I know there's one close to me, but I found their selection of CDs not as healthy as it was in the 2000s. So now let's focus on the online outlets. My first suggestion is to download Discogs on your mobile phone. It's not only an excellent way to catalog your music, so you don't mess up like I have and buy a bunch of doubles, if not triples. I actually have three copies of Linkin Park's Meteora. I mean, I love it, I don't care. But if you want to avoid this mishap, Discogs will have your library readily available so you can reference it as you shop, which is totally convenient. Aside from that incredible feature, you can also buy CDs, use CDs, or even new CDs from their marketplace. I have purchased a few titles on there and there were no issues. The CDs were just as described and I was happy. And they got here pretty quick. There's a grading structure on the platform so you know the condition of the disc and the sleeve before you buy it, which is helpful. Because I, I love things mint. I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but I love mint stuff. They have sellers worldwide, expanding your reach to find some really hard to find titles. Uh, if you want to support indie artists, I would head on to Bandcamp where you can purchase. It'll be like this one time at band camp when we all had a campfire. All right, guys, if you want to support indie artists, I would head on to band camp where you can purchase physical and digital copies of their music. I feel this is the biggest high five you can, high five you can provide an indie artist. There is so much to be discovered. Unfortunately, there isn't enough time in the day. Uh, there's so many indie artists that are so good on there. Uh, I would also recommend looking to eBay for hard to find titles as well as new and used offerings. eBay is frequently one of the most expensive, but they have a massive selection of new and used titles. After eBay, maybe check Macari. Macari is an up and coming online selling platform that I have had good luck with so far, just with other things than CDs, but that the selection is slim. It's a better place to find like lots of like 50 random CDs for sale. Facebook Marketplace is kind of the same way. If you want to buy like 50 or 100 CDs at one time, that's where they're at. Uh, some indie record labels will offer the opportunity to buy physical discs on their websites directly. This is great because I would assume this supports the artists in the best way possible. Lastly, Amazon will always be a heavy hitter for both new and used titles. And of course, the shipping for the most part is super fast more often than not. Thank you all for joining me. If you're already subscribed, 
thank you. I have an online shop where I sell audio inspired. <laughs> thank you all for joining me. If you're already subscribed, thank you. I have an online shop where I sell audio inspired t-shirts just like this one. This is actually one of them. Uh, hoodies and other merch to help support the channel. I encourage you to check it out, buy some stuff and offer ideas for future designs. I encourage you to check out some of my other videos to see if my channel is the right fit for you. And I would love for you to hit that thumbs up and end up subscribing and joining me on my journey in hi-fi. And don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified every time I put out new content. Thank you again for spending some time with me. Take care and I will see you next time.